y'all what's going on no shop in here and welcome back to my channel so here in my bag my work bag i brought something with me i want to get y'all involved i want y'all to see my beginning stages okay here in my bag i have some yarn and i have oh shoot hold on y'all and i have some needles you know what I mean? I'm finna start knitting. Okay? I'm finna get it. I've been wanting to knit for a few years now. I finally bought the supplies back in November. Today is my first day trying. And y'all gonna see all of that. Okay? I watched plenty of videos. But I'm sure. I know. I'm gonna have to plug my laptop up. Not even plug it. I'm gonna have to open my laptop up. Put on a YouTube video showing me how to start the knot and the first loop and all that good stuff. So, here we are. Let me show you. I'm going to give y'all a closer look. I don't know why I said closer like that. I'll give y'all a closer look. <laughs> and this right here is, the brand is Peaches and Cream. I love this color. This was the last one in this color. So, I snagged this. I got this from Walmart. And these needles right here, these are pretty long for a beginner. But I got these from Amazon. And I did buy a different pair at Walmart. It's shorter and it's smaller. Yeah. But it's the one with the little plastic thing connected to it. So the needles are connected. I'm not on that level yet. So I'm not going to start with that. I'm just going to utilize these needles. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. <laughs> Right, let me get my laptop up and get that started. Let me get my Wi-Fi going so I can start a video and I can start the process. Because contrary to popular belief, knitting is actually pretty easy. It can seem intimidating at first, but we're gonna keep it simple so you can hit the ground running. All you're gonna need is yarn and two knitting needles and then you're ready to go. So getting started, first thing we need to do is we actually need to uh -oh, put the yarn on onto the needles in the first place. So you want to take the tail end of the yarn. Oh lord, the hold on, let me pause it. The oh shoot, I don't got my stuff together. I got the okay. Take the needles out of the package and take the yarn. I'm saying yarn. Yarn. Wait. Yarn. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> Taking the yarn out. Um, I'll just leave it like that. Let's hit play. The yarn and the rest of the yarn. And with the tail end, flip it over the part that's connected to the rest of the yarn, just like this. So you make a little loop here. We're going to take two fingers and put it through this loop like this. And what we're going to do is grab the yarn that's connected to the rest of the yarn so this end of the yarn we're going to grab it with the two fingers and pull it through this loop that we created so if you come up you grab that part of the yarn and then just gently pull everything a little tight but not too tight just to, so it's snug so you should end up with this nice little noose here that you can make tighter and looser depending on which end of the yarn you're pulling on okay so with this loop this is actually going to be your first stitch that you put on your needles. So put it through the loop that you just made. And if you pull the end of the yarn that's connected to the rest of the yarn, everything should gently tighten. So the loop is going to tighten up on the needle. And you want to just give everything a little bit of a tug so it's nice and snug. Not too tight because you're going to be working with this. You want it to remain a little loose so <laughs> if it moves around a little bit. Um, but just make sure that it's closed up on the needle. Okay. So this first loop is actually going to be the first stitch on scarf. our scarf and you have it. I know y'all, it's taking a long time, but it's a process. You're doing a lot of talking. I'm here to learn. I'm being patient. So if you're interested, 
y'all go and grab y'all some yarn and some needles so we can do this together okay and y'all let me know if there's any need knitters out there any pointers you want to give me let me know down below in the comments if anybody been thinking about trying knitting go for it let's do it let's see how far we go with this okay in a month three months a year i'm trying to make my first hat okay maybe a sweater you never know let's go for it about 20 or so stitches okay. then you're looking at a scarf what we're going to do is just gently wrap the yarn around your index finger like this so you're holding the yarn in your left hand wrap the yarn like this and it naturally is going to create a little loop around your index finger like this right and what we're going to do with this loop is we're going to slip it onto this needle or we're going to use the needle and scoop the loop off of our finger so you have the yarn you kind of turn it a little bit so it creates a loop and then just take the needle and scoop the loop up through the bottom and pull it off like this and then just kind of gently pull it tight not too tight you just want it to be snug on the needle so come to do on, that again man. just wrap the yarn y'all don't see me though index come on now y'all don't see me oh y'all don't see me y'all y'all really don't see me Girl. Take the needle, come up through the bottom, and scoop the loop off onto the needle, just like that. Uh, come on! Keep going. Over and over. More. Oh, shoot. So each Got one of these too confident. is going to make your project wider and wider. As you go about this, you'll notice that you're forming a kind of ridge here where all the loops Ooh. are kind of lined up. So right here, there's a nice little uniform edge of where all the loops are kind of looping over each other so you have this nice little ridge feel free to space everything out to give yourself more room and it's okay if you grab it but just make sure that that ridge doesn't get twisted a lot of times if you're gripping the needle or something that ridge is going to get twisted around so just make sure that you keep that ridge as straight and uniform as possible so you don't get anything mixed up or twisted That's it. That's all I gotta do. So I've cast it on 18 stitches onto uh -oh, this needle, and that's about as much as I can comfortably fit onto this needle. And I'm gonna kind of space them all out a little bit just so. Y'all, I am actually knitting. Y'all see this? Let me separate some of it for you so y'all can see. I'm actually doing it. This is my first go round. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, I've been wanting to knit for years now. And I got serious about it probably the end of last year. And I'm here doing it and I'm starting it. And it's turning out great so far. Like, think about it. Knitting, to me, peaceful. You know, it helps you with your patience takes you away from distractions social media your phone all that good stuff tuning in to other people's lives this helps you zero in and focus in on yourself and on your life what you want and that's exactly what i want you know what i'm saying we're not limited to doing one thing in life you know how they ask you when we were or how they ask kids what you want to be when you grow up you're like oh i'm the doctor lawyer you could do more than that and it's like we have one earthly life to live so it's like make the best of it and do whatever your heart's desire not whatever your heart's desire you know what i'm saying y'all know what i'm talking about don't be going out here wild now but like if you want to learn how to play the guitar if you want to play an instrument if you want to become better if you always want to be a great basketball shooter it's never too late to go out there to the gym or go to a park and you know what i'm saying practice is never too late no matter how old you are whatever you want to do go for it at least try for real like try, give it a real good try because i know how i am like i feel like if i start something i should be great at it like within the first hour or two you know what i'm saying so a lot of times i gave up on a lot of things i wanted to accomplish because of that reason and it's like no i gotta keep going i gotta keep going i gotta push past how i feel you know what i'm saying you gotta be bad in order to be good you gotta be good in order to be great 
So I'm keeping that in mind. I hope you keep that in mind too. This is just the beginning. Okay. I'm going I'm to keep y'all updated on my journey with my knitting. <laughs> We're going to see how this goes. It's going to go great. I believe that. And I'm just, this is what I plan on doing on the bus. Just knitting. Okay, on these trips, knitting. So, I haven't set up my website yet, but I got y'all on them hats. Anybody want a hat? Charging $59.99. $59.99, I got you. You got to tell me how big your head is and tell me the color you want. I got you. Plus, $59.99 plus shipping, shipping and handling, okay? <laughs> I'm not paying out of pocket for that. <laughs> anyway, no, for real, though. This is so cool. This is cool to me. I, I mean, I don't know about y'all. Y'all might be like, ooh, that's kind of lame. That's boring. Not to me. And I'm going to keep going, okay? But anyways, thank you for um, watching this video. Thank you for taking the time to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. And again, I'm going to update y'all on this knitting journey. And we're going to see where it takes me. And what I do with it. So if y'all see me with a, a scarf in the next video, know that's me. That's a piece by Nosha. Okay. So, anyways, I'll catch you next time. See you later. So many amazing things just walk through the door. There's so much in store.